So when I think about sort of the lupus environment right now and what's most exciting going into the future uh, in terms of management and therapy, I have really this three words, deep B cell depletion, but there's a hyphen. So the B cell is one word. So what, I, what I'm referring to is we're learning a lot now from uh, cell therapies that have been introduced for uh, difficult cases of autoimmunity. And what's profound using CAR T cells directed against the CD19 antigen is the very uh, quick and very deep B cell depletion. Uh, and then the B cells repopulate. Uh, they come back mostly as naive B cells. And what we're seeing as follow on to that is that patients are achieving sustained remissions for the most part with very little or, or no um, immunosuppressive medication. I'm not sure exactly how CAR T cell therapy is going to be positioned in the future. This is not a regimen to be taken lightly because it's a very intense immunosuppressive regimen to get the conditioning, but I think all of that's in evolution. But what I think is most important is what we can learn from the CAR T cells. Why is that different than the B cell depleting therapies we've used up till now? And there's two things that I think are important to think about. One is the depth of B cell depletion. And when we started out with anti-CD20 uh, monoclonal antibodies, we got good B cell depletion, but it was really um, based on, for example, clinical counting of B cells, and we don't know how well we got into the tissue. What I think CAR T cells are telling us is, and, and we're assuming the CAR T cell can go anywhere in the body that a T cell can, and I, I certainly believe that's true, is that maybe if we get rid of B cells in the tissue, and that to me also includes the kidney, because if you look at the cell populations we're learning from understanding the transcriptome of kidney biopsies, we know that there are antibody producing cells in the kidney, there's B cells in the kidney. Um, if we can clean these out, and probably also in the lymphoid organs, maybe the spleen as well, maybe even the bone marrow, um, that that might benefit patients with lupus. And, and I do think we have B cell therapies now that might not necessarily be CAR T cell therapies, but monoclonal antibodies. There's, there's bispecific monoclonal antibodies now. There's plasma cell monoclonal antibodies that uh, might target a different B cell population that we usually do. Um, this might provide a deeper B cell depletion that gets throughout the tissues. Uh, so that's uh, something that I think is, is, is really important. And then the, the other thing that we're learning about the body in lupus and autoimmunity is that when the B cells come back, and it's remarkable when you think about it, the B cells in CAR T, th CAR -T cell therapy come back very quickly, much different than when the B cells come back after a lengthy period of time with monoclonal antibodies. They're, they're naive B cells, and I wonder if if we really need to understand what the B cell populations look like when B cells repopulate, is it possible that by bringing back certain populations of B cells while keeping others suppressed, that we really do, the trendy term is reset the immune system, but allow the immune system to have a prolonged response? And so I think uh, when, I, when I look at this, again, I. I don't know the exact place of CAR T cells in the regimen, but I do think we're learning a lot about B cells, and I think that we're learning that good B cell depletion may actually be very useful in controlling disease.